Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Huge Dollar Tree haul, actually full of such exciting stuff, you guys. I have um, the palette that I promised to swatch in a previous haul. I have to swatch tonight. So many amazing items. This is actually a great haul. I'm so excited about it. Um, but first, I am going to share some of the boring items. Uh, that are repurchases for me. They did restock these Crafter Square retractable holders. They're, they're in the Crafter Square section because these are actually supposed to be for like paint brushes, I guess. It shows like pencils and paint brushes and stuff like that. But what I love to do with this, and I had one last year, and honestly, I don't know what happened to it. Um, I love to just put utensils in it. I just think it's like no sand gets in here when I go to the beach. I put the utensils in here. I close it up. Nothing gets in it. And it's like really perfect for the beach. Um, your utensils don't have sand on them. So when you go to eat like fruit salad or something like that, you're not eating gritty sand. And I just love that. I love this for that. It's like the perfect item to toss into your beach bag. Nothing gets in here. Nothing. But I, I did want to mention that if you have something to ship out, like a poster or something like that, this is also pretty good. I think that this is a really good item. Also, if you are an artist or you do paper crafting or anything like that, and you want to ship out maybe some kind of like a poster or some sort of paper product you could roll up and you could it goes up to this size because you don't have to retract it all the way in so i just think that it's kind of cool for that because mailing tubes actually cost more than a dollar 25 and it's a pretty good size for that and then you can of course wrap it with like brown paper but it is good for shipping purposes as well depending on what you're trying to ship it's strong and durable and I mean, of course it's good for paint brushes and pencils as well, but this item just feels like something Ikea would come up with. So I just think that at a dollar and a quarter, it's really useful for a lot of different purposes. And it's always great to have it in your like stash. It's a really good, well-made container to store things in. I picked up one roll of this vinyl permanent paper um, it is such pretty paper. It's the glitter paper. I've hauled like every single vinyl that the Dollar Tree came out with. My husband did buy me a Cricut for Christmas that I have not yet even opened. Very intimidated by the whole process. But um, this vinyl paper is just so, so gorgeous and glittery. And I was thinking that I could use it like contact paper. I don't have to use it like Cricut. I ended up getting this tin of popcorn during the holidays. It's actually very, very pretty. Everybody gets these during Christmas time, but I hate throwing things like this away. It is a metal tin. So I decided that I'm going to use the Cricut vinyl like contact paper and cover this metal tin. I'm wondering if there's enough one roll will be more than enough. I'm going to, you know, properly cut it and fit it for this. Perfect. And I wonder if there'll be enough. Wow, there's enough to do the lid too. Perfect. And I'm going to turn this into um, just a sparkly metal container. And I'm probably going to glue a little handle to the top from, I have tons of little knobs. And uh, I'm going to make it a tin for my cat food. I already have like a plastic Tupperware, uh, but I think I'll put the dog food in there and I'm going to put the cat food in here because it's the, the huge container that I have is too big for the cat food, actually. And um, this is just right for the size of cat food that I order. So I feel like that will be really pretty. The tin is definitely pretty, but it's not like something that I can have out year round, but... I think it will be so cute with a pink sparkly paper that I'm definitely psyched to do that. That's like a super simple upcycle, really simple. Then I did pick up this headband. They had tons of colors. 
Um, but I do have like green and blue and all the colors already. This one is gray and I don't have a gray headband like this. I just think that these headbands are seriously gorgeous. I usually like to wear headbands in my hair, like poofy headbands when my hair is curly. It's not really curly today. It's just blown out. But this headband is so, so pretty. Isn't it a beautiful headband? I have the tag on and I look like mini pearl, but I don't want to rip it and rip the thing off. It's so well made. Do you guys see how well made it is? It's covered everywhere. It's really beautiful. It has this big like bouffant squish inside of it. Really, really definitely high end looking. This does not look like a Dollar Tree product in the least. I showed, I shared these to my community tab and I showed them in a walkthrough probably weeks ago at this point. You guys, these are actually great. Um, I picked up a few of them because they are like a brand name item and I figured I would share them with some friends. Cause let's face it, everybody has toilets and everybody poops and it stinks. So <laughs> that's what this is for. It's actually um, a really good product. You put it in your toilet when you go in to do your business you drop it in the water and the, the packaging is so cute, even though I know everybody already said it. I said it in my walkthrough first thing that because somebody had left one open and the minute I saw it, I was like, it looks like something you would put into your water. <laughs> um, but you do put it in your water, your toilet water. So it comes in this cute box that's like this and you push it up like a matchstick, like the old match boxes. Just love the way it's packaged. They like spent so much money on the packaging, but they really didn't think about it very carefully because um, of the way that it's it's made. It's It comes all sealed up. Once you open it, it smells really good. You just drop it into the toilet water, do your business, and then flush. The whole bathroom smells good. It doesn't smell like poop. And it's pretty impressive for something. And I gotta say that, it works. It definitely works. This is the Lavender Springs sp scent. I've never opened that one yet. Um, but we have actually been using the Eucalyptus Breeze. And it works amazing. It smells very, very good. We've already been using this. And it smells amazing. I will show you guys the packaging. There it is. It's already opened. It works really well. You don't need... A it smells really good, actually. I love the smell of the Eucalyptus one. The lavender one smells pretty good too. I just for the first time smelled it. And now we're going to smell fresh linen, which I have a feeling is also going to smell great. Fresh linen also smells really good. It practically, you can smell it through the packaging. That's how good it smells. It kind of smells a little like baby powder and fresh linen, but it's a great, this is a really good product. These are all a brand name item. The name is B4 Toilet Drops. And honestly, these are a really great product. I was really excited to find these at the Dollar Tree. I have to be honest. They work. They're very useful. And it's always awesome to find brand name items in any category at the Dollar Tree, even the poo category. I feel like the Dollar Tree knows that we're like fed up of winter and they're starting to bring in fun pedicure, like foot care, summer things. Because I equate pedicure season, which I do like to get pedicures year round, but mostly pedicures are the best when you wear flip flops, which equals summer. So when I saw these colorful, um, titania pumice stones in these awesome colors, I had to scoop them up in every color because one, they make great gifts, but they also brought in these awesome nail clippers, which are great toenail for pedicure clippers that have the little catch case. Awesome. Look at how well made these are. This company, Titania, is actually a German import. Uh, most of the uh, writing is in German. I can't even read it, but I know that that's a good product. I do have it in orange actually as well, but I've already started using it. It's really good. I don't know what I did with it already. This is why I had to buy multiple because I lose everything. Like I said, it does have the clipping catcher, which makes 
these amazing. When my son or husband go to cut their nails, I really appreciate this little receptacle more than anything you guys could possibly understand. Another item that has come into the Dollar Tree by this Titania brand is this made for men nail file. Now it says made for men, but I don't know what that really is all about because I personally think that this is the greatest nail file that ever happened. Um, again, the, most of the writing is in German, so it's not really legible, but I can tell you right now that it says um, soft touch made in Germany nail file. It is stainless steel. I already opened one of these and used it. I bought like five of them because I always lose my nail files, but I also like the metal nail files that the Dollar Tree sells in a four pack, but this is like 10,000 times better. It works incredibly well. Really, it's a great nail file. This will last you a lifetime. This makes a great gift, you guys. I don't know why it says made for men um, because I think that anybody could use it and you could even use it on your pets. It's, it's really a good product. A great, great item to buy for $1.25. I'm sure that this costs more than $1.25 wherever it came from. And again, you can make a nice pedicure, manicure basket and add all of these items in. It would be a great gift. Another Titania product that I have found at the Dollar Tree is this soft touch pumice stone with a handle. This is very exciting. So they did give us these pumice stones, which are, um, you know, you use, you hold it in your hand and it does have a good shape. If you look, you'll see that the shape is great for your hands or your feet. And it's got little indentations so that it can be held easier. To get one of these pumice stone type of callus removers with a handle is an exceptionally good deal. And it also comes in the four colors. I like to call those the uh, Macintosh computer colors. When Macintosh first came out with those colorful computers they came in those colors there it is out of the package i feel like it's very well made the handle is like got a good grip and i can tell that this is not gonna just break i can't tell you how many times i've bought things like this that are foot you know callus removing that just break when you try to use them but this is really well made and i don't think it's gonna snap it's definitely a well thought out product. These are really a great deal. I absolutely love every single thing I've seen by this brand so far. I'm truly impressed. I did show these in my walkthrough a couple weeks ago. I've really just been backed up. There's been a lot going on. Um, Clean Feet by Spa Scriptions Exfoliating Foot Treatment. You get one pair of foot treatment in this box. Um, again, Spa Scriptions is a good brand. I'm never disappointed with them. They also had in the same store the hydrating one, and it's one pair per box for $1.25. Then, you guys, they have these, and these are exfoliating mint. I love all things mint, and there are three in here, three exfoliating foot masks for $1.25. Any one of these I think is a pleasure, but I wonder what these look like. We're going to open this three pack up and it is a cruelty free product, which is also nice to see. Actually, this box is like impossible to get into. Good thing that I have these scissors that I'm about to haul next. I'm going to haul them right now because <laughs> I need to get into this box and I literally cannot get it open. So in this box, you get all of these. These are great. This is like what they use at the pedicure place. For $1.25, that is seriously awesome. I have not tried them yet. I'm definitely going to be trying them. I'm really actually looking forward to trying them. So I can't wait. I plan on getting a pedicure and taking the mint um, bubble tea, bubble bath things, the mint little oil pearls with me and having them use all of these items plus whatever else they're gonna put on my feet, but I wanna try them out at the pedicure place. 
So for $1.25, I think that's an amazing deal. If you were to ask me, why would you buy the single box as opposed to the three pack is a very good question. Um, the truth is I bought all of them to show you guys, but um, I'm definitely gonna use these. I picked up more than one of these. I picked up three because that gives me nine. I feel like that's a decent amount of foot treatments. I'm, I'm completely obsessed with all things mint, but I think that these make very nice gifts. These, the packaging is really, really phenomenal on these. Just very classic. They don't look like they're a dollar and a quarter. They look to be more expensive. And these would look very nice in an Easter basket or a Mother's Day basket. And at $1.25, I think they're all a good deal. Because when we get to pamper ourselves with something like that for a dollar and a quarter, it's priceless. So you guys saw me bust these out to use them. They are these small stork scissors. And honestly, they're amazing. They're really, really well made. They're super pretty. I really, really love them. They are by Cala Beauty Tools. And I actually have already used them and I just put them right back in this case because they're pretty sharp as well. So I absolutely, without a doubt, think that for $1.25, that is a fantastic, fantastic find from the Dollar Tree. They're really useful really cool, really pretty. I feel like that scissor is not only a good find, but it's also interesting. Like I like it when the Dollar Tree brings in a variety of interesting items. Um, it's fun to find them there. It's really like a treasure hunt. So I'm sure if you saw my thumbnail, then you saw this as well. These are by spa scriptions. One is retinol and the other one is collagen. And these are under eye masks and I definitely need them tonight. Um, I had a crazy long day and I decided to get this haul done because it was from the other day sitting here. And um, this, these are amazing. I've already tried the retinol ones because I bought another box of them and I'm very happy with them. I like to put these in the refrigerator and then when I'm about to go to sleep, put them on under my eyes. Sometimes I'll put on another mask or a sleep mask or whatever other treatment I want, but I absolutely love and I absolutely love under eye masks, but to get five of them for $1.25, you guys, it's a steal. Sometimes they sell them to us for one for $1.25, and I don't really, I don't go for that. I feel like if I'm not going to get a bunch of them, I don't want them. I picked up these seven nails. I just think they're very, very pretty. They're silver and white. They look really pretty beautiful for maybe Easter time. I don't know. I just really love silver nails. I do. I definitely love silver and white fingernails are gorgeous. You get 12. So I bought two packs. I also picked up because I want to try them out. These B color adhesive nail tabs. I'm curious. I just, I don't know. I have not tried these yet. Has anybody else tried them and did they work for them? Because I have a feeling that this is not going to be much more than a glue dot. What do you guys think? Do you think that these are going to actually hold the nails on? I don't know how I feel about them. These are barely sticky. These are not holding a nail on. I'm just going to let you guys know right now. These are garbage. Do not waste your money on these. If somebody's going to leave a review telling me that these worked amazing, I will be shocked because these are not even sticking to my finger or nail. They're barely sticky. They're worse than glue dots. The I can, you get, these are not good. I am, these are definitely a thumbs down for me. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that if I had my nails on with these glue dots and I went to pull my pants up after using the bathroom, I would have no false nails left. So I'm really happy that I picked up some of this Kiss brush on nail glue as well, because these are not going to work. Maybe if you just want to take a picture and then take the nails off, or if you want to do like an Instagram or something, and you don't really want your nails to be long, you just want to have them look pretty for a few seconds or something like that. If you don't really want them to stay on for whatever reason, then this makes sense, but this is not going to work because this is not even sticky. These are barely as powerful as glue dots. 
Let me know if you have a different opinion. Maybe I got a dud, but I don't think so. They were fresh out of the box. And I definitely love the Brush On Kiss Nail Glue, 100%. I'm going to use that with these, and it should work great because the Kiss Brush On Nail Glue and the other Brush On Nail Glues, I was never disappointed with at the Dollar Tree. This, big thumbs down from me. So when I saw these Rock the Locks in the store, I was instantly thrilled. First of all, they're hair color and conditioner. They're like shampoo in color. And it lasts up between 5 and 15 shampoos. Works best on light or blonde hair. But I don't have light or blonde hair. But what I do have is this has argan oil, cruelty-free vegan, no sulfates, no parabens. And it is hair color and conditioner. Now, I have red, um, like red add-in color that I use, that I add into various conditioners. I usually add the red, like various red shades of shampoo in color into my white conditioner. But to add it into an already colored conditioner is going to give my hair lots of fun dimension and color, especially in the summer when I go into the pool, which I'm looking forward to, you guys. So this for sure was a great, great deal. I know that I'm going to absolutely love using this when my hair starts to fade in the pool and the bleach and stuff. In the summer, it's very hard to maintain my hair. So these are these kind of things cost a lot of money in the store. To get it for $1.25 is a steal. I did find this, and I have absolutely loved every single one of these cases that are supposed to be camera cases that I've gotten my hands on. I found the purple patent leather one. I made it into a credit card holder. Um, Pamela found the red one, and I found the purple one for her, but then she found the purple one anyway, but I never found the red one in the store. I don't, But I have the red one because she gave it to me. Um, and I love it, and I love the purple one. The purple one I have lipstick in. The red one I have my credit cards in. Then I found this hard protective camera case, and I almost left it behind. But then I realized that the way that it closes and opens is really amazing. So you have this D ring on the back and inside of my pocket, most of my purses have like a, a pocket on the inside of the tote and it comes with a strap. This, ca this case actually comes with a strap. You see that? So you can actually attach it to the inside of your pocketbook and have it like attached to the zipper you can attach it to the zipper and then hook it onto here. So you could put your money in here. So if somebody goes to steal your money, they're not going to get away with it unless they take your whole pocketbook because this will be attached to your bag. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I might have to share a picture of what I mean, but I recently actually had my wallet stolen while I was in Kohl's, which is what's gotten me thinking like this. I never usually think that way, but I like the idea that my wallet where I'm going to keep like my money folded up in here is going to be attached to my purse. So no one can take my wallet out of my bag without me noticing that they're taking it out of my bag because they're going to be shocked when they realize that this is anchored in. So, but I can take it in and out and drop it in my tote without anybody realizing anything because I've attached it to the zipper and it's attached to this and it's not going anywhere. So I think that's awesome. Next, I found this CD. Lil it's Lilith Fair, guys. I went to Lilith Fair, and it's a CD that I had, but I don't know what happened to it. There are so many amazing songs on here. Sinead O'Connor, Fire on Babylon. There are so many amazing songs on this CD. I remember listening to this CD over and over again. I don't know what happened to it, but there it is if you guys want to take a good look at it. But I will tell you right now that there is Sinead O'Connor, Fire on Babylon. Amazing, amazing version in this CD. And there's so many. There's Natalie Merchant in the ghetto. There's so many, so many good songs on this CD that for $1.25, I was not leaving it behind. I literally was at Lilith Fair. So I love this. Maxi, Maxi, why don't you show everybody what you have in your mouth? Maxi, come here. Look. He's got gar. He just went in the garbage can. <laughs> Maxie, show everyone. Maxie, show everybody. Come on, Maxie. 
Ma Max, Max, you have a treasure to show them? <laughs> you do. What did you get? Do you have a treasure? Like he's going to freak out because he knows. I Ma Max, Maxie, 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 nope, Maxie, you cannot go in the garbage. How many times has Mama told you? He's like, he's like, what are you doing, Mama? You can't have my garbage. No, you can't have the garbage. Good. Say hi. Say hi, Maxie. Maxie. So Max decided that he's going to hang out for the rest of the haul. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's so cute. No biting. No biting. No more biting. Teething is over. But I'm going to show you guys some of the awesome socks that I found. I hit the gold toe sock jackpot again. These are non-binding Comfort Soul Ocean Gold Toe brand. These I have never found. I've seen them hauled, but I've never found these. These are $14 originally, and they were $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. They're basically reminding me of the 80s. They're like leg warmers and socks all in one. They look awesome. They're really thick and cozy. Perfect for sleeping in as well. Black, I mean... You cannot go wrong. These were originally 14 bucks, like I said, and at $1.25, I was so excited to see these. Then I've had these before, and I had one in my giveaway, and I, I put one of these in my giveaway, and then I have the other pack, but now I found more of them, and these were also originally $14. They're a two-pack. They're really very seriously gorgeous socks. Do you guys see that tipping? They're so cute. I absolutely love them. They look really cute poking out of the top of your ankle booties. So I love these socks. And when I saw these, I grabbed them up because I absolutely love when I wear these with my really short ankle boots. And this little thing is just sticking out. It looks so cute. I found these and I actually had these also in a giveaway a while ago. And um, I found two packs of them. One for me, one for you guys. But when I... Now the cat and the dog are fighting again. When I saw these on the shelf, I scooped them up because I love them. They're so cute. They're ultra stretchy. They're like really luxe and like soft. They almost feel like silk socks. They're really awesome. And these were also $14 originally. Two pair for $1.25. You can't beat that. And it actually is called a boot sock, but this is by no means a boot sock. Then I found these three packs. They come in tan, white, and gray, or pink, cream, and like burgundy. And these are also super duper soft. And it says actually ultra soft turn cuff, perfect for her ever wear toe. And I got some of these for my mother-in-law because she loves socks like this. They're really cozy and cute. I know she's gonna absolutely love them absolutely love these she has a really little foot anyway but these are so cute really cute really nice really cozy perfect perfect spring fall type socks they're not crazy warm they're like almost silky so they're just beautiful socks guys those were actually $14 for three pairs but a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree now these socks these solution socks by gold toe are my favorite socks these are their like chenille socks and these are white like a little fuzzy sheep for my feet i can't you guys i love these socks i have like a striped pair and a teal pair and a burgundy pair and now i have this creamy white pair my life is like complete i don't know what more to say i love these my heart like gets crazy pitter pattery when I see these in the store because I absolutely love like snugadoo type socks. But when you could get gold toe chenille socks for a buck and a quarter, it's a no brainer. They are amazing. I absolutely love wearing those socks. I picked up some more of these size eight to 12 peds. They are phenomenal. You get four packs for a buck and a quarter. I love them. I, they also have them in just solid black where they're a little bit higher up, but they're both really great. 
I love both styles. These are the super no show. And then these come up a little higher. You can wear them with like sneakers, but they won't show. They're really comfy, really nice cotton, really, really great socks. I also picked up more of these Gildan size 8 to 12 socks with the super cushy heel and the like. These are crazy, crazy comfy. Very cushy. Look how fat they are. You do get, you get three pairs for $1.25. And I love all three of these styles. I think are like amazing. These are rebuys for me because I found them in another store. And I definitely grabbed them up because they are amazing socks. Then I found some men's socks. Check out this pack of men's socks. I love them. My son loves the gold toe socks. These were only, I say it like it's not a big deal. These were only $8.99 originally, but you know what? They were $1.25, so I'm happy. That's actually really cheap for gold toe, $8.99. GT gold toe must be like, um, they're like, lower end brand, but I actually really like them. They're really cushy and I love the heathered color one. Then you get this gray heathered one and then you get this navy blue one. But for $1.25, these are beautiful. I picked up this pack as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I might hold on to it and give it as a Father's Day gift to my father-in-law. I love, love this Argyle print. You get three packs for a buck and a quarter beautiful, beautiful prints. The other one is like a mini Argyle. Then there's this simple sky blue pair. But then this pack is just gorgeous. They're definitely a fabulous deal at a buck and a quarter. This pack was originally $21. It's got this purple stripe. Then it has this plain gray. And then it just has a solid like kind of like grayish brownish it's a really nice color actually all three pairs have a really unique feel it says they're high performance comfort all three pairs feel really different than the other ones they're like a little slinky it says that it's high performance comfort and these are protec aqua effects but they just feel really great and i know as the days get warmer my son's definitely gonna love them max has stolen um, the cat's toy. Max has stolen the cat's banana and has chewed it up gross again. Gonna have to find her another one. This is what happens. They fight over this catnip banana. And there he goes. This three pack was originally 12 bucks and they're in browns. But I definitely love them because my son loves to wear like brown, um, like loafer type shoes. So these will be really cute. And then we have this really fun three pack that actually I could get away with wearing because they're a big size. Look at this. Look at how fun. Aren't those so fun? I love this pair of socks. And then there's this crazy pair and the polka dot pair. So I could actually wear these because these are men's size socks. And if it's really cold out, I will. Then we have this three pack. Um, they were nine bucks originally. Not much, but it doesn't matter. It's still a great deal at a buck and a quarter. There's this cute print. And then there is a solid blue print. And this is actually my favorite um, in the pack. Look at how cute that print is. Isn't that print nice? So three pairs. Again, unbeatable. Oh, wow, guys. So here's another three pack. And look, it has a flag. Look at how cute these really patriotic ones are. They have red toes. So cute. Then there's a gorgeous, beautiful Argyle pack. Those are beautiful. Then we have, as the third pair, do you guys see that print? It's so, so nice. This pack, this three pack of gold toe socks, it was in the Dollar Tree. I was just trying to peel it off to see how much they were originally. But you see this red tag? You guys know where that's from? It's from Ollie's. So that means that they had them at Ollie's and I guess they didn't sell out in Ollie's. And then Ollie's, who is a liquidator, liquidated them to the Dollar Tree. I just don't know how they ended up in the Dollar Tree, all of these gold toe socks. But I'm curious to know how much they were at Ollie's. We're about to find out.
when these were in Ollie's, these were $8. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I can see it. They were eight bucks at Ollie's. Who knows how much they were before that because Ollie's is a cheap store. Then I have this nautical pack. The first pair is like sailboats. Super cute. Then there's like nautical. They have these nautical knots, which I love. Of nautical. I love those. So cute. And then we have little anchors. How adorable. Absolutely adorable. I don't know how much these were originally, but again, a dollar and a quarter, no brainer. Now these may be some of the last gold toe socks I will show on my channel because I have to stop buying socks, but I could always donate more. Um, I honestly gave almost all the socks away, so I really didn't have much left for my family. Um, these are $16 originally. And I love these. I have bought um, this type of sock before. These are men's. You get three packs, but I love them for me. They're really comfy. They look really nice when I'm wearing sneakers, like I'm not wearing socks, but I am. And these are really good, good quality. Really great. I love them. Even better than the Peds. And then we have this crazy duck one. Look at that with the ducks. Very cute. There's people who are duck like enthusiasts out there and then look at this print and then we have this fun super retro looking print um i love them i also picked up these super cute two pack of socks i think they're awesome you can even hold on to them if you get them and gift them next year at christmas it even says to and from gold toe and i don't know how much these were originally but they are super cute perfect gifts Honestly, I may hold on to some of these and gift them next year at Christmas time. I think they're that good. Who knows if we'll ever see more gold toe. And then last but not least, I got another pack of these. Look at that. They're Boston Terriers. I wish that Mabel would come here, but Mabel won't come anywhere near Max. She hates him. And so I have Boston Terrier socks. And that kind of looks like Mabel for real. It is so funny because the eyes are green. My Mabel has one blue eye and one brown eye. She's so pretty, but she just is not a people person. She does not socialize, period. She is very antisocial, but I couldn't help it. This is the second pack of these that I got because I love the Boston Terrier socks. And then they have a striped pack and this polka dot pack. But I got these for my husband because he is obsessed with Boston Terriers and he's going to love these socks. I found this book and I was so excited. It is a huge book on aging well with diabetes, 146 eye-opening secrets that prevent and control diabetes. And um, I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law. Uh, she actually does have diabetes as a result of some medical issues that she had going on. And I think that this will really be helpful for her. Um, there's all kinds of amazing information and recipes, roasted baby Brussels sprouts and bacon, broccoli, walnut, farro cakes, just all kinds of recipes and information on how to cope with your diabetes or different things that you can do or just a lot of information that I think she will really appreciate and definitely read and retain. I picked up this really cute a uh, wood decor slice. I actually think that this is pretty easy to paint, but would also be really easy to paint with like pastel -y colored nail polishes. I might try that because I feel like it'll come out looking really awesome. So I might use uh, regular paint on these parts, but then the parts that are three dimensional, I feel like I might paint with nail polish, like pastel polishes. It's not that intricate that I think it would work and I could actually paint this. And I just think that this is such a pretty piece of wood. Isn't it gorgeous how they made it with these like little flower pop outs? It's just beautiful. Very smooth and really nice. Originally, when I saw these sparkly handled brushes, I passed on them. But then Pamela from Pamela's World, she did a review of them and she actually said that they're pretty decent. So I decided to pick them up and 
put them aside for a giveaway. I actually have more than enough makeup brushes as of right now, but I thought that since she thought they were good, they are so pretty that I'm just going to stow them away for a future giveaway. They are really, really pretty. Aren't those pretty makeup brushes for a buck and a quarter? I picked up this premium pad folio. Um, and when I found it on the shelf, I was actually thrilled. I think that it's so fancy looking. I absolutely love that it has this mock croc print on the front. Isn't that so, so nice? And then on the back, it's just sleek, shiny, like patent leather looking black. And it has uh, obviously a pad of paper you can write on. And I just, I just think it's amazing. I think it's a really nice item. It's by the brand Scholar, which is not a brand name. It is a Dollar Tree Greenbrier product, but I think it's great. Really, really nice. Definitely worth a dollar twenty-five. It's very sturdy. You can carry it with you if you have stuff to do out and about and you need to take notes. This is the perfect thing to do it, and I think it's really great. It fits in a bag. You can carry it in your pocketbook. It's just very convenient and very nice. When I finally found these in purple, I was thrilled. Um, these are notebook sleeves. And I already have it in army green, but I definitely wanted to find a couple more. And when I realized they come in purple too, I was thrilled. Because these are great for shipping things. Or if you're traveling, you could put some makeup palettes in here. I just like that they're, um, they're made to protect your tablet. So if they're made to protect your tablet, they'll protect my eyeshadow palettes too. Or if I have something fragile and I'm shipping it, for $1.25, uh... The Dollar Tree charges us $1.25 for something to ship something in, one envelope. But if I have something precious that I want to mail, I could always put it in here and then wrap this or put this in a box. But I just think that for $1.25, it's such a useful item for when you're, if you're traveling somewhere and you want to have some, you could put your eyeshadow palettes in here again, and they will be more protected than they are in a makeup bag. But you could put your whole makeup bag right in here and protect your palettes like that because these are very cushioned and for a buck and a quarter, a steal, guys. A couple of hauls ago, I showed you guys two of the other beautiful Rimmel eyeshadow palettes that I found, but um, I didn't get a chance to swatch this one. This is by Rimmel. It's called Magnify's Spice Edition and this is absolutely beautiful it is number 005 spice edition this eyeshadow palette is glorious i don't know what more to say all three of them are amazing so it's dual ended it's a brush on one side and what is this called a baton i forget what that's called but um i don't use that i mostly don't use that but look at the colors in this palette it's gorgeous so we're going to swatch this tonight, you guys. Rolling up the sleeves because it's swatch time. So we'll start with the lightest right here. Look at that. Let's see what that looks like. It is actually a metallic white. That's nice. And the next one is like almost like a nude. We're gonna. It's beautiful. You almost can't see it even. So there is most of the palette. The two, these two really are not very pigmented at all. I have to say the white one, it's really beautiful. These are gorgeous, but I, I ran out of space, so I didn't get to swatch. That's them right there. The last four I didn't swatch yet. I'm going to swatch them on this side because I ran out of space. And those are the last four. I have to say that those last four are my favorites. I really love that like eggplanty color. That one right there is very pretty, very beautiful. It is actually a gorgeous palette. These two don't really show up on my skin. The palette is absolutely beautiful. I did have a lot of people ask me if it's a cream palette. It's not cream eyeshadow, but it definitely has like a nice glide to it. It's not like other palettes. It's very unique. I really like all of the eyeshadows that I've tried by Rimmel so far. Before I found these palettes at the Dollar Tree, I really had never tried any Rimmel palettes. 
And um, I really didn't realize how nice their eyeshadows are. Their eyeshadows are actually very, very nice, or at least this collection is just nicely colored, pigmented, has a great consistency. I've already used the other palettes, and when you put it on, it stays on all day. So I really like it. I think it's a pretty decent product. I have shown this palette before, the NYX Love in Florence, and it is an absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect purple palette that also has this incredible glitter. Um, I have swatched it before, but I did pick it up again for uh, future giveaways because it happens to be like the perfect purple palette. It does have like instructions like one, two, three, and tells you how to use it, but um, there are plenty of YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. It's just a really great eye treatment. I like this palette a lot. Then you guys, this one, um, I actually dropped. It's so nice and I broke it and I was devastated because this Maybelline eyeshadow palette, it's called Sapphire Siren, has beautiful blues in it. I'm going to swatch it because it's really gorgeous. It's by Maybelline Eye Studio. Like I said, it's called Sapphire Siren, but these metallic, very, very well pigmented, very, because I, like I said, I already had this and have used it and then I dropped it and broke it, unfortunately, because I break everything, but I was so happy to find another one because this blue is similar to the blue that was the other day I swatched a beautiful Rimmel palette and it had the most unique blue, but, um, I meant to say actually that the only other time I've ever seen a blue similar to it was in this little palette. And there it is. Do you guys see that gorgeous, gorgeous blue? But these, this little tiny quad makes the most gorgeous eyeshadow effect. And I just love the sparkly black to do like, you know, like you just do a little bit here to make your eyes pop. It's a very lovely, beautiful eye treatment really nice. I'm so happy that I found another one. I did find this a while ago, but I just never got around to hauling it either. And it is called Duo Cubes in Tank Automatic Toilet Cleaner. So you drop it in the tank and it obviously cleans your toilet, but also makes the water blue. And I love things like this. This is called Sapphire Water Scented, but it's by the brand Soft Scrub. And I don't know if it's a great deal at $1.25, but I like picking things like this up and it's just convenient. So I definitely picked that up because it was there and I'd never seen it before. We are in the last but not least. I have a couple more items. I showed these a million years ago in one of my walkthroughs and it is um, like a eyelash spoolie. That's what they're called. And I know a lot of people use these also for their... Um, eyebrows, but I, I just bought them for future giveaways. They do come in a nice case and I don't use this cause I do not have eyebrows nor do I have long lashes. So this is not really something that's useful to me, but I bought a couple of them because they're really beautifully packaged and, um, people who have like eyebrows that they wax and stuff and they do all of that stuff to them. I know that they do use these, let me know if you use them. If you if you saw these in the Dollar Tree, would you buy them? Because at first I was like, who needs that? But then people were like, those are spoolies. We use them all the time. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize. So let me know if you use these. They're, that's what That's what it looks like. This is my absolute definite last but not least. I picked up a few of this Pear and Pink Magnolia Uplifting Body Lotion by Crabtree and Evelyn. This is not a dollar anywhere, guys. And I have to say that this lotion smells amazing. It is such a nice lotion to have in your bag and just take out and refresh yourself. Um, refresh your hands after using hand sanitizer. They get so dry. And then you put this on and it just permeates the room with this amazing scent. I've already been using it. I love it. Um, it is... 1.7 ounce it has it's very sweet and it does smell like pear in a way but definitely magnolia 
definitely you smell the magnolia flower and I, lo I love it. I don't know why, but I absolutely am crazy about this scent. I just love that it's really strong. It's almost like a pick-me-up. That magnolia is really like uplifting. If you're whatever, if you're starting to feel sluggish, you take it out of your bag, you put it on your hands, and all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I have all this new energy. I really feel like it's almost like aromatherapeutic. So I love, love this product. And I did pick up like three of them because... I'm sure I'll never see them again, and I was so excited to find those. I did also pick up another one of these Keras Value Kit Wound Care Kit. This is an amazing deal. Um, my son burned his hand the other day in the microwave cooking. He manages to make the stuff so hot that he burned his hand, and he did have like a little blister, and I had to wrap it and stuff. This came in so handy. We used it up. It actually comes with the tape and gauze pads. It is such a useful item to buy for $1.25, you guys. I truly highly recommend it. We went through so much of it that I picked up another one, but it's a great buy. The tape alone at the Dollar Tree is $1.25. So to get the tape and the gauze pads for $1.25 is a no-brainer. And then my very last item that is a rebuy that I want to say to you guys, if you have not yet tried this, please do give it a shot. This Magic Power multi-purpose cleaner is incredible, amazing. It has no chemical odors. As you guys know, I have been having a lot of issues with my breathing. I don't know what happened out of nowhere. Um, I just, I thought I had a heart attack. I went to a cardiologist. I've seen a million doctors. It turns out that it was some kind of residue left in my lungs from the pneumonia that I had or allergies, which my pneumonia came from allergies. It could be Max. We don't want to talk about it right now, though, because I am very allergic, actually, to the dog. But, you guys, this stuff does not have any chemical odor because when I'm cleaning, the minute that I smell any type of like bleach or chemical odor, I start coughing like crazy and I can't breathe. I literally can't breathe. This stuff cleans amazing and the power of peroxide, which is odorless, cleans without any kind of chemical smell. This is a great cleaning product and it's a hefty bottle, 32 ounces. I highly recommend this. Um, that is it. That is all I could possibly share with you guys tonight. Say bye, Maxie. Say bye. Say bye, guys. That's all I could share with you guys tonight because I am starting to have watery eyes because I am allergic to Max and I'm going to need some more allergy medicine, but he can't help it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a big thumbs up. And as always, guys, Stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Max. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Not lick mommy's teeth. Okay, bye, guys.